Okay, so we are on, or we're starting Algebra 1A Credit 4 here. We're on lesson 9.1, where we're going to talk about mean and median. And I don't want to steal the joy of discovery for you, so I'm going to let you read the explain one part, uh, because I think they do a pretty decent job of explaining it. Let's jump straight into questions number one and two. So question one says, we, we're trying to find the mean and the median of these numbers. Question one, the data set is from the amount of hours spent playing video games per day by seven Learn for Life students. So the context should tell us there are seven items we are comparing here. So let's go ahead and just start off by uh, putting these in order. Now you don't necessarily have to, but it'll help us to find the median because we want to find the middle number once the numbers are in order from least to greatest anyway. So let's go ahead and do that ahead of time. Zero, one, two, uh, let me see, three, five, six, and eight. So that looks like seven numbers to me. And the middle number, right? Um, three numbers from the left side and three numbers from the right side is at three. So our median number is gonna be three. And our mean or arithmetic average is gonna be zero plus one, plus two, plus three, plus five, plus six, plus eight. And when you go ahead and do that, you should end up with, uh, or we're gonna divide that, uh, by the way, by seven because that's the number of items. We see zero, blah, 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 you're gonna get 25 over seven. And if you punch that into a handy dandy calculator, you can do that with me, you're gonna get about 3.57. So our mean is going to be 3.57. Okay, that's question number one. Question number two, let's go ahead and put this in order as well, just because it's going to help us with our median. And so 0, 2, 3, 4, 4. There's two 4s and then there's a 5. Right? Even though the 4 happens twice, you still count it. And in this case, the two middle numbers are, there's an even number of items here. So the two number, middle numbers are 3 and 4. So we're going to take the average of that. So halfway between 3 and 4 is 3 and a half. So our median is going to be 3 and a half. And to find the mean, let's just add this all together and divide it by six because there are six items. Zero plus two plus three plus four plus four plus five. So what is that gonna be? Five, 10, 18 divided by six items gives us, what is that, three. So our mean is going to be three. Okay, so that was mean and median. Uh, on the next page, we're gonna start talking about something called standard deviation. And those of you who are unfamiliar with statistics and probability. Um, this is actually something quite important. Uh, and the concept might elude you for a, a little bit if you're not familiar with uh, what a s standard deviation is. Um, it eluded me for quite some time as well, and I'm a math teacher, so. Um, uh, the nice thing is though that they, they have provided a handy dandy formula for us to figure out what the standard of deviation is, okay? So if you're still unsure about what the standard of deviation is, go talk to your math teacher. Um, but it is a very, very important concept when it comes to uh, statistics and probability because it helps us take a data set and figure out, um, you know, important, it helps us analyze very important things about uh, the data. So that's all I can really say without confusing you more. So let's just jump into the actual uh, the procedural aspect of finding the uh, the standard deviation here. So in this case, question number one on page eleven, we're given this data set of the total number of music bands and artists named in five minutes by six Learn for Life students um, uh, listed below. So 21, 31, 26, 24, 28, and 26. So the first step in finding the standard of deviation standard deviation is to find the mean or the average of all the data values. So let's go ahead and write this in. In, in, in this case, I'm not gonna actually uh, write it in, um, in order from least to greatest, because we're not trying to find uh, the median here. 21, 31, 26, 24, 28, and 26. And there are six items here. So whatever the numerator there is, we're gonna add that together and then divide it by six. So um, 156, uh, is what I got from the calculator, divided by six. And again, let me see, I haven't done this yet. 156 divided by six gives me 26. So that's a nice whole number. That's, that happens to be the mean or the arithmetic average of all those numbers together. So that is gonna play a big part in finding the standard deviation because 
um, we're going to find the square deviation for all the data values uh, compared to the mean. So what do I mean by that? Here's the first um, first data value, that x value of 21. We're going to do 21 minus the mean, which is 26. Gives us a negative 5. If we square the negative 5, we get 25, since negative 5 times negative 5 gives us a positive 25. So let's do that with the next number, 31 minus 26. Um, that's also 5. Positive 5 squared is 25. Let's keep going with that. 26 minus 26 gives us 0. 0 squared gives us 0. And then 24 minus 26 gives us negative 2. Negative 2 squared gives us positive 4. 28 minus 26 gives us or uh, equals 2. 2 squared equals 4 as well. 26 minus 26 equal, uh, equals 0. 0 squared equals 0. And so we're going to find uh, the mean of all the square deviations. So all these numbers right here, we're going to find the mean of those now. So 25 plus 25 plus 0 plus 4 plus 4 plus 0 divided by the number of items is 6. And so let me see, 25 plus 20 is 50, 50 plus that's going to be 58 divided by 6. And when I punch that into the calculator, 58 divided by 6, I get 9.67, right? So that's the, uh, that's the uh, approximation there, that 9.67. And then we need to take the square root of that. So let's see, square root of 9.67 punch that into the calculator, you get about 3.1. So we say that the standard deviation in this case is about 3.1. So now what does that mean in context? Well, all that is saying is that um, if you chart uh, on a graph the number of, or the number of um, music bands and artists that people know, uh, as we'll see later on in this credit, um, the separation between those data points is going to be about 3.1. But again, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'd probably just confuse you, so we'll stop here.